time to get started on this project. We have reached a point of no return. Back on the Ute pickup, 50 miles per gallon coming soon. I got the inner side bed panels on and they look really good I've got to say my hats off to these guys for this kit and uh, I paid for this kit this kit wasn't free this is coming from me and I fabricate a lot of stuff I have not had to trim one piece of this kit yet to make it fit like I've followed their basic instructions that they they give you on the internet um, Mark's phone numbers on it so you can call him for technical advice and these panels dropped right in place these side panels I mean they fit absolutely perfect I cut a hole here because I'm gonna put a six inch speaker and all of this like is just I, I just I, I can't believe with this many bands and this many uh, pieces of geometry up over the wheel wells like how well this thing fits my hats off to these guys if this kit continues to go this way this is probably one of the best aftermarket kits I've ever installed on anything of this magnitude well that's about enough of that for one day I didn't time-lapse it I didn't want to bore you with the details but I have spent all day fitting the inner fenders and just drilling the holes. There are at least 150 holes that you have to drill. But check it out, it's looking good. I'm about ready to put the floor in. I'll do that tomorrow. But there are just literally rivets. I mean, if you look at the rows of rivets here, this thing is riveted all the way around. Screws here, there's screws in the front, screws along the side, they're just everywhere. So. I had to square that all up, fit it all really nice, then once it fit really nice and it was level, I had to just drill all the holes and tighten everything up. I had it held together with vice grips, it was just a mess, but not a tough job, it just took a long time to get it perfectly straight. <laughs> What I've been working on here this morning is a little bit of fiberglass fitting. I haven't filmed a lot of it. This is still fitting a little, a little snug there, but um, fitting these panels on here. So he rough cuts these when he sends them. You have to cut these little notches, and obviously you want this to fit as tight as possible because you have to seal this where the cab seals right here. That seals the the inside of the car so that the rain doesn't get down in here. It can get in here okay, that's fine, but inside the car we can't have any rain. And uh, I changed something, so I'll show you what I got. He sends this uh, door seal ground effect thing, and he gives you the front pieces, and they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of cool, but so this was the piece from the driver's side, and uh, I just got looking at it and I didn't like the way it fit and it just really I mean it adds to the car but it doesn't I'm not really a ground effects kind of guy and I'm not gonna lower it I'm gonna use this truck so what I did was I cut that off and then inside I put a, a piece of metal that I can attach this to and then this body line will be flush I'll fill that in so he does give you a pretty nice little door sill plate here that seals the jam up and uh, I guess this is the seal that's the jam but anyway the tail lights just showed up so I'm gonna do some fitting on the tail lights and uh, later today I should have the tailgate installed the tailgate is basically a uh, Ford Ranger step side or splash so pretty cool starting to come together the little ute pickup truck um, I got all of the panels fitted 
They fit really good. I've had a full, full assembly of that and tested it, so they're ready to glue on. So what I want to do, I want to finish the welding inside the bed. We're going to get the floor in. Normally they just bolt this in. I'm going to weld it all in, so I'm going to do it a little different than they recommend. I, I like the idea of bolting. Bolting is for people that don't know how to weld. I like to weld everything. So what I need to take apart will be bolted. What is permanent will be welded. I'm working on a receiver hitch uh, that's going to go behind the splash apron. Splash apron here. So the splash apron goes right here and I decided that the factory rear bumper is plenty strong enough to support a receiver hitch. So what I'm going to do I'm going to cut a hole in this and we're going to put a one inch receiver in it but I'm going to weld these collapsible uh, you know low speed bumper stops and then I'm going to add a brace from here to the top of this maybe one to the bottom just to make this a little bit stronger and then I'll bolt this back into the car once I put the receiver hitch in here I'm going to attach it to the back side of the car and actually give it a little more support so that thing's only going to be probably, you know, enough for a little thousand pound trailer. I don't want to pull anything big with this. That would hurt my mileage. Alrighty, it's that day. We've got our hole drilled for our speaker wires. That'll come around here. There will be no access to this once I put this panel on. You'll have to go through that hole. Got the headliner all out. And we are ready to glue the side panels on. So they glue and rivet these fiberglass side panels. Um, we're going to get those glued on right now and uh, put the top rails on. This top rail goes on top of the fiberglass and kind of sandwiches it in here. It's kind of a nice piece. Makes it, trims it out, makes it look nice. And we'll get the back of the cab on and we have one more piece to finish on the bed I got all that welding done yesterday looks nice um, this piece will fold up to access the spare tire it's kind of ironic though should have just cut that out and put like a hanging chain on it because you can't really access the spare if you've got stuff loaded in the back of the truck you have to unload it to get the spare out so I don't know I may end up uh, doing something different with that cut the bottom of it out make a chain chain thing that'll lower it down but I don't know we'll cross that bridge when we get there because I'm gonna use this truck it's gonna have stuff loaded in it and if I need the spare tire I'm gonna have to unload it if it has a heavy engine on it I ain't gonna be able to get my spare tire so we'll figure that out but yeah we're gonna get these uh, panels put on so lot better than I thought it would didn't really get to film this side going on too much but yeah you saw the time lapse on this one this panel three screws in the top these are flush rivets along here and uh, it looks really nice with that piece that I cut off fits really good a little body work to do there but that ain't bad I put expanding foam in the top I've got it all glued and screwed and ready to go so what they want you to do here is like windshield glue, but I might put Cavasil or something like that. And then kitty hair bondo across there. All I've got left to do, I've already fit the tail lights. I've got to finish fitting this panel. So I've got to trim some off of here. You can see I'm up on the lip there. But before I get too carried away, I'm 
going to put a receiver right here. It's going to have a fold down license plate. I'll be able to slide my receiver hitch in right there where the license plate Alrighty. is. We're just putting the final touches on this fiberglass stuff. And then we're taking the interior pieces over to my buddy Tim to uh, get going on the interior. And uh, I don't know, we should be close. Should be ready to put some tail lights in. So I've got a little glue on here. We're gonna glue it and rivet it. So when you're doing the rivets like this, make these rivet washers. You can slide that on the back side and that'll help pull that thing down rather than just blow the fiberglass out. So we're going to put that on there. Hold it. Nice and tight. And we'll drill. Body work on those and they'll look really good we're gonna cut a hole right here and put a receiver hitch fold down license plate we've got tail lights and tail light wiring working on getting glass cut and uh, she's pretty much ready to drive ready to go haul some things so let me know what you think of this build I'd like to hear your comments on it okay see this bolt see this bolt right here Mm -hmm. inside the car mm -hmm. I'm going to let it down I need you to put a nut on it and hold the wrench on it while I tighten it it's obviously a lock nut so it goes on a certain way and then I'll need to hold the wrench on it <sighs> yeah I guess you can kind of see it there the washer it first? yep So I can't reach this bolt and tighten it at the same time, so I have to have her ride up with the car so I can tighten it from underneath, but this is the final brace on my hitch here. Where's Hunter when we need him? Yeah, Hunter. That's what we need. We need a Hunter. There's a spider! <laughs> no, there's a mouse! <laughs> ah! Is it alive? There's an alive mouse back here. Oh, There's a I got it. Hunter Cox, where are you at? At least there's no uh, rat in here. Yeah. Can you see it there? Eternity later. Yeah! Let me just do a little painting here and then I'll let you down. Now this is what you call a tailgate party. Thanks for that entertainment. Always glad to uh, help out. Zippity fast. I think the car's faster. Less weight. Well, it's 275 pounds off the back end. <laughs> <laughs>